So you just got your new mask. And the, the most common question that we get when people buy new masks is how do we take care of it? Is there any tips and tricks that you know we can suggest to help you with your mask and snorkel experience? Yes, we do. Here it is. So when you get your mask, it usually comes in tempered glass or polycarbonate lens. We've covered this in a previous video, but that's important to note what kind of mask you're using because it will dictate um, your uh, pre-dive conditioning uh, steps or what you need to do to take care of your mask. So this is a tempered glass lens that we have here and it has uh, anti-fog coating. Not all masks have anti-fog, so it's best to check with your supplier if the mask that you have has anti-fog. Now, um, we found that anti-fog masks work best because it really helps prevent um, your masks from fogging over time when you're diving for a long period of time. The best way to tell if it's a, uh, it's a mask with anti-fog is it has these tabs inside, which usually is it's a protective film for the anti-fog coating. See, so if we remove that, and I'll show you right now, uh, that protective plastic now this is the anti-fog film right underneath. So it's important to know if you have anti-fog on your um, mask lens, especially for tempered glass, because if you do, you do not want to be using the lighter method on your tempered glass lens. So if you're not familiar with that yet, the lighter method is actually a way of defogging your masks when it's new. What people do is essentially they lighter up the inside part of the lens and they do that for both sides to kind of treat it and clean it for um, impurities during manufacturing. Now again, you want to do that if your mask does not have uh, pre-dive, uh, sorry, defog, uh, film, anti-fog film, right? But if it does have anti-fog film, you're going to ruin the film if you use the lighter method. So do not use the lighter method on masks with anti-fog. Usually polycarbonate lens masks immediately have anti-fog. I have not experienced any polycarbonate lens that does not have that. It's usually the tempered glass that you have two options, whether they are, um, uh, it has the anti-fog lens or it doesn't. So for, before you do use the lighting method, make sure you know if it has an anti-fog film or not. Now, when it comes to masks, even though if it has anti-fog film, you still want to do pre-dive defogging. And our most recommended uh, procedure for doing that is using baby shampoo, all right? This is a regular Johnson's and Johnson's baby shampoo, but you can use basically any baby shampoo around. A regular shampoo will also work. The reason why we recommend the baby shampoo is because it is less irritating on the eyes. And the way you use this before you dive is you put a small amount of shampoo on the inner side of the lens like that, and you rub it around like so right make sure you get every little corner and the entire surface of the inner side of the mask and that's it so i'm gonna leave it like that before the dive when i get into the water i will rinse this off Right? You, don't put your, you don't wear this with a, with a shampoo inside because then it's going to be all blurry. You rinse it off and then you put your mask on. So in case you don't have shampoo, there are other alternatives that you can use, which is toothpaste or your own spit. Um, if you've noticed uh, in some videos, you will see some divers licking the inner um, side of your, their masks. That's because they're trying to defog their masks. So those are your options for pre-dive defogging. But always, always do pre-dive defog conditioning before you dive. It ensures better dives for you overall. Now, here's another tip when it comes to masks and snorkels. I have a beard and some people, you know, have mustaches and whatever. And they sometimes find that water trickles in when they wear their masks. So I, I've found is if you get like lip balm like this, um, I, you can easily find this in almost any pharmacy. What I do is I get, before I dive, I get a little bit of lip balm and put it on my on my mustache or around my on my cheeks and this helps to soften it and to seal the mask that way you can avoid leaking int of water into your mask if you have a, a, a mustache or a beard okay all right so when it comes to your mask when you're gonna be diving 
Um, some people, when they put on their masks, they tighten it too much. And that's not a good thing to do. Um, it doesn't mean that you've tightened it so much that it's not going to leak. Uh, in fact, it's going to be the opposite where your mask is going to feel uncomfortable and will affect your dive. So when you wear your mask, just make sure to um, tighten it up so that it's snug and nice on your face but still comfortable. Avoid the pitfall of over tightening your mask. All right, let's get to snorkels. Now, uh, this is pretty basic, um, but I do get questions on sometimes people don't know how to use this. Essentially, this is a snorkel keeper which will clip your snorkel onto your mask. The way to do that is first you put one side of the keeper onto your snorkel like that and then you loop it over the strap of your mask like that and then you reinsert the snorkel onto the other side and that will keep the snorkel in place okay, around your snorkel. So see that now it's, it's assembled and so if I put on the mask like that the snorkel stays there so you can adjust that I put it in your mouth and then I dive remove the snorkel and it's right there that is the most um, generic way of doing it but over the years of free diving I've found that there are other ways that I prefer to do it so one of these suggestions is instead of having it on the side of your mask here see the problem with that is when you have it on the side of your of your face so on the mask when you when you let go of the snorkel it's right here on your face and sometimes you will feel it banging against your cheek you know and that can cause some discomfort for you so what other people do is they put the snorkel keeper onto the back part of the of the strap that way let's see let's do that and putting it up that way when it's at the back part now I'm going to show you on the side view mask. if you notice if if I let go of the snorkel when I'm about to dive so big breath let go of the snorkel it falls away from my face you see that and I find this more comfortable uh, in general and also for photos if you're getting your picture taken while you're free diving, um, it's away from your face. So it looks better aesthetically, all right? Personally, the way I like to do it is I don't even use the snorkel holder. Why? Because it saves me a step of removing the snorkel holder every time I put my, my mask into the case. So what I actually do is it always comes just like this. I put on my mask like that and then I just insert the snorkel through here and that's it. See, so when I need to breathe, it's right here. I just adjust it a bit. And when I need to dive, big breath, let go, falls right there. All right? And then again, just the tightness of this, nice and snug. It's very comfortable, very easy. Now when I'm done with my dive, I remove my mask, snorkel's off. And the mask now easily goes into the mask, the mask case. All right. So one last thing, I get a lot of questions about white masks. Um, do they turn yellow over time? Now this will really depend on how you take care of your mask. If you leave it under direct sunlight, there's a high probability that your white mask will turn yellowish. So, but if you are the type of person that takes care of your mask, meaning after you dive, you rinse it in fresh water and put it straight into the case without leaving it in direct sunlight, it will maintain its color. So in our experience, it's very rare for us to see um, our masks turning yellow, especially if the diver is, <laughs> takes good care of their masks. So that's it about masks and snorkels. I know it's a repeating topic, but it's very general and a lot of people may not know this already and can be very useful for you. So do share it with your friends if you feel like you know they need to know this information. Thanks so much for watching another episode. Dive safe, dive on, peace out.